So, um, we're here working on the tiny house again today. Um, I don't know what day it is because I've sort of lost track, but ta-da! We have all four walls up, which Jeff has done nearly all by himself. He's just making sure it's level. Ooh, this one's not actually done. Right. But it's up. Oops. Um, because like as you can maybe tell, the top part is missing. Oh, but so it's not uniform like that. But we have all four up, which is really exciting. Jeff, what would you have to say about it? It looks awesome, and you can start to figure out what rooms are which rooms and stuff, and it looks out. And it's cool because it's like visual. You can actually see it, it's not just on paper. So I'm gonna give you a quick tour. Welcome to our front door. This oh. is us entering the tiny house. We have a window seat thingy that's gonna come here, um, plus a little surprise for later. Um, and then here's our big picture window with another little window right by it. So that would be a very fun area. We have a second window right there. Um, and this all here um, to just beyond that window and that window right there will be seating area. Okay, can you envision that with me? And then just beyond this window here will be our bathroom to the left of that window in our kitchen where that window starts. So if that was detailed enough, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, but Jeff's done an amazing job. So, and we're really excited. Woo! Good morning. We are here and it is it's about 10 o'clock. We got out here a little later because we had to bring this from Lowe's, which was a work in itself because all I had was these little uh, twine stuff. And so like the whole ride, actually here, I'll show you. Oh, don't look behind me. Whew. Okay, so what we did the whole ride was we had this little thing right here. And so anytime, well actually I was just holding it down like this all the time, but anytime there was like a car that passed that was big or like a truck, it would shoot up wind and blow that. Where's it at? Ah, yeah, there we go. Our uh, plywood, which is for our loft, that's what we had to grab. But he would be like, <laughs> I'd be like, oh, look, we're trying to drive. It was pretty intense. But anyways, the tiny house is coming along. I haven't videoed in quite some time, actually. I don't even know if I videoed last time. I got the rest of the walls up. But it's uh, March 10th today, I think. I, I lose track of the days. But um, ta-da! We started sheathing, and we're sheathing from the out, oh no, inside. Um, that's what a lot of tiny house people do. Um, that way you can like, well everything's accessible from the outside. Um, so you can finish up what you need to on the inside and not really have to get to other things as soon as you normally would. So um, this is a little bit what we've been doing. What would I have been doing? Um, we got inside. Today I'm hoping to finish the sheathing, um, other than the roofing part. And we're gonna put dormers up in here. Here we'll show you. Doo -doo -doo. Here's inside the house. Um, we're gonna, we have like a little peek here. The windows aren't cut out of the sheathing yet, but that's okay. And over here we have the, the loft and that's what the plywood's for. It's gonna go up there. Um, we're going to put dormers on both sides, so it really just opens up that whole area because um, otherwise it would be kind of tight and the only place we l would like on the bed would be the very center. And that would be tight. So, yep, and that is the house for now. Um, and yeah, so it's coming along. Um, I don't really know what else to say. So, um, the day, the work day is over, and this is what we have completed. Finished the sheathing on the, well, inside, but the outside sheathing. Um, in the whole thing. And I think it is coming out to look pretty good, um, on the inside. We can kind of see 
you know, what it's going to be like and start laying out rooms and stuff. Wah, 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 wah. And also up this ladder, I got the loft finished. So we got, well, not finished, but I got flooring up here. So then you don't fall through the cracks. And I think it looks pretty cool. And it's awesome because you can just like walk out here and investigate. <laughs> I didn't finish all the rafters, but I gotta do those tomorrow. And I'm trying to get this thing like completely uh, closed off before, well, hopefully before the end of the week, but in the next couple days. Um, just because we're supposed to have a lot of rain, I don't want it to like drench the inside of here now that it's all closed off and stuff, but it's looking really awesome. We're really excited, and yeah, so until next week, uh, here's to you, and from us, Jeff and Veronica. Okay, I almost forgot to mention the inside, okay, I have not cut out all the window spaces yet, so no, we don't just have two windows. That would be really bad. There's actually one, two, three, four, five downstairs windows. So there's five downstairs windows. Um, so don't worry, we're not we're not like blocking out everything. Um, so we actually yeah we added a lot more windows than what the plans called for, but. That's just because we wanted to have like a lot of the outdoors um, kind of in and uh, a lot of that natural light in the house. So it might have overkilled the windows a little bit, but we're excited. And actually this spot right here, that window's bigger than we have cut out right now. And there's a window right next to it on the left. So it's going to be like a little window seat area for us. And we're actually excited about that part just because... It's cool. And yeah, so now this time I'm leaving. <laughs>